the challenge spies lies and allies challenger of the week goes to logan for exposing his messy side this man loves drama and because of that logan suddenly just got a lot more interesting hello fellow couch potatoes welcome to today's video logan tells big t that he's against cory and nelson Logan, I would be against Corey too. The mission exposed a move by Corey who throws the ball to Jeremiah during one hit, which solidified the doubts that some vets had about Corey working with the rookies. Logan and Big T are targeting her partner Nelson as their strategy for the game, since Nelson wasn't working with them. The mission is won overall by Nanny and Logan who says in his confessional in a humorous deadpan. I was well ready, baby. Logan telling Nelson if he keeps fighting, he won't be safe. Logan showed dominance over Nelson, who finally decides to take the deal, tackles Ed away, and Logan and Nanny win. During the house party, Logan tells Nanny he wants to see Corey and Bettina as the house vote and then they'll put in Jeremiah and Amber as the agency vote. He thinks it would be perfect to see their boyfriend and girlfriend fighting for their life. Um, so should this apply for you and Big T in the future? It turns out Logan's messy and loves to create drama, and I kind of like it. Nanny loves the plan because she lost to Amber in the final last season, so she doesn't want a repeat performance. Or maybe because of Casey's influence. Then, at the nominations, Logan starts things off by revealing he promised Ed and Nelson they'd be safe. And it's very important to keep your promises. If not, you're a piece of poop. Do you agree with my challenger of the week? If not, who would be your challenger of the week? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, thank you for watching. Hey Couch Potato, thank you for watching, click like and subscribe, see you on the next video, bye!